Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why you should never rub another woman in a woman's face who you're trying to date. Got an email here from a guy who pretty much did just that, and it causes him to get rejected. He says, hey coach, a cute girl from Match.com and I just exchanged numbers after a brief email or two last week. But her schedule doesn't coincide with mine very well because she works nights at a hospital and I work during the day. Our open window of opportunity to talk on the phone for a few minutes was around 6 p.m. and I'd say, and I said I'd try her then. Later that night, I did and it went to her voicemail. So I left her a message to call me back. Well, one thing that that you should always do that makes it a lot easier is just to, if you got somebody that you're trying to date who's scheduling yours just as fucked basically it's just is to simply send this to her say hey when are you free to talk on the phone or when are you free to get together because then it allows them to tell you when they're not working and what time they have available and then it makes it easy for you to pick something that you're also available as opposed to saying how about a Tuesday at 8 or how about I call you later? And then she says, oh, I can't then. I got this. If you just ask her to tell you up front, hey, when are you free to get together? When are you free to talk or when are you free to chat on the phone? It makes it a lot easier that way. He says, she texted me later on that night from work because she can only text while she's at work but not talk. And apologized for not being able to pick up the phone but I that I should try again the next day. And again, I would have said, what time are you normally free to speak? That's what you should have said. He, said I, he, he says, that sounds great. I'll talk to you then. He says, so then she wanted to text me a little bit more. So she asked me, do you have any plans for the weekend? I said, Saturday I have a date and I'm planning to watch football on Sunday with friends, but I'm free Friday night. How about you? <laughs> Here's the thing: is that women want to feel. I mean, they're, it's not that it's a bad. It's actually a good thing if they know that you're popular with women. But when you say what you said, you're in essence rubbing it in her face. Now, if you've got a woman with a high self-esteem, she's going to say, "Oh, well, he's got another date. Well, must be something to this guy." But if you're dealing with a woman who's got a low self-esteem or her, she's insecure, and she realizes that you're popular with other women she's going to think oh well i obviously can't measure up to those other girls so i might as well reject you now and avoid myself the heartbreak because when you find out what i'm really like you're not going to want me and that's basically what i think is going on here with this particular chick she's got a low self-esteem and she got butt hurt and bent out of shape and got insulted by it and so that's why it's always best to not tell them that you're going out on dates or you have other women that you're dating or you just if she asks you just say yeah i'm dating or if you're if you're on match.com like this particular guy is you say hey i you know, i meet women all the time or it's like yeah i've been meeting and dating anybody but nobody i have a re i've had a real connection with yet in other words it communicates yeah you're meeting other women going out on dates but nobody has basically really lit your fires or blown your skirt up or floated your boat so <laughs> so to speak but here it's like you just kind of like sticking your finger in her eye and and it, it just obviously does, doesn't go well. And so here's her response to that. She says, well, good for you. I'm not quite, I'm not really quite sure what I'm supposed to say to that, but it's kind of really threw me off. And if it were true, in other words, you're probably lying to me because most guys and I know lie to me. So that tells me right there and there off the bat, she's a little fucking cynical and a little jaded which is probably a good thing that she rejected you anyways because she's got a low self-esteem and she got butt hurt over that and she decided to reject you first because more than likely she thought once you got to know her especially if you had other options with women you would probably choose someone else over her it's interesting this how people's psychology comes out in their responses or their self-talk and so she said after she says it kind of really threw me off and if it were true i really don't think that's something you should disclose to somebody if you're interested in going on a date more likely it's like the average woman is going to take it as like hey you're just another notch in my bedpost kind of thing 
So she says, like, I'm just another random girl in your big date book. In other words, oh, you're really popular with women. You're, there's no way you would really like me because I'm not that you – know, I don't really have much to offer you. This, I'm pretty sure that this girl's got low self-esteem. So at the end of the day, it's a good thing that it didn't work out. But going forward in the future, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mention those kinds of things or in the way that you did. And, she, and then she, her response is, after she says, your big date book, she says, thanks, but no thanks. I wish you all the best. Take care. And he says, Corey, my question is, how would you have responded to that? Or at least, what do you think about all that? I would have just said, hey, well, sorry you feel that way, but give me a call if you change your mind. I'd like to chat with you to get, you, get to know you a little further. And then you just kind of leave it at that. And so you know, the interesting thing is, is that, you, again, they want to feel, women in general want to feel that they're more special than the other women that you're dating. They don't mind that you're dating other women. But when you say it or you phrase it the way that you did, you're basically saying, eh, I get one of them all the time. What do you got to offer me, basically? And this particular girl, because she's got a low self-esteem, obviously responds in a negative way. But like she said, like I said earlier, she probably did you a favor by getting bent out of shape and getting pissed off. But like I said, that's, that's what I, I would have done differently. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max, and just give me several weeks to get back to you with a response, because I get inundated with emails. And it's, I'm a couple weeks behind now as it is, so you just got to be patient. But if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session, and you can do that by going to my website. Click the Products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on the web, my website underneath the email sign-up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, just download one of their free e-reader apps for whatever electronic device you want to read my book on. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, or my ebook, you can show your appreciation right now by going to my website. And on the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.